SMT Nation, what is going on? It's your boy, the SMT. Big news coming out of Dish and Boost Mobile. This is like a phone and a service deal. And it's pretty much their first organic phone slash service combination promotion. Some, I don't even know what you want to call it. We'll call it promotion. All right. So uh, before I get started with this video, if it's your first time here and you end up liking this video and want more, subscribe and then turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. All right. So here is the deal. Dish has a partnership with a company called Solero, right? Let me let me see if I can take a look at some of this information here. So we got a, a, a phone brand called Solero 5G, and they're making devices, but it looks like they got this partnership with Dish, and they're going to be selling this phone through the Boost Mobile MVNO prepaid channel. The device itself is valued at $279, but if you purchase it through Dish on their promotion through the Boost Mobile, uh, you're getting it for $49.99 plus tax. All right, so this is a pretty aggressive offer, seeing that it is going to be paired with a line of service for a year. So pretty aggressive here. Um, they're doing a free year of service to an initial batch of customers who pre-order the device. Uh, they'll later discontinue this promotion. So it is going to be on a limited time only. But it might be worth it for you to check out. Uh, they're doing... The Solero 5G phone in promotion with these, you know, with the $50 per month unlimited plan that provides the 35 gigs of high speed data per month. So it doesn't look like the deal for the plan is changing much. So that's the same, which some people have said that they are not really liking. Anyways, uh, this is probably all in response to what we saw with the Metro deal, trying to take customers away from Boost and Cricket. And this new phone has some interesting band compatibility. So as of right now, when I'm looking at the list, it does have some 5G bands, N66, N71. So, you know, it's got the um, the future AWS, and it also has the T-Mobile low, uh, low band 5G, extended range 5G. It also has N25, which is PCS. They won't likely be doing that, like, right away, but probably within the next year or two, we may be seeing that. And then, of course, the N41. So this is fully ready for the all the 5G stuff going on with T-Mobile. Now, the other thing I noticed is that I did not see the the native 5G stuff from like Boost. So like I didn't see N48, which they have CBRS. I didn't see the uh, also the the what is the, the N26, the the 800 megahertz that they got from the whole Sprint and T-Mobile merger. So I'm surprised by some of that. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't see N70 either, which. We all thought their AWS was going to go to N70. So uh, it is ready for T-Mobile usage, although it is missing. It didn't have the N29 either. It just reminded me of that. So and that's the 700 megahertz, which they have. So I'm surprised, but I'm guessing as more phones have these bands, they'll be up for sale. And, you know, we'll be seeing more of those connections on the native DISH network as that network builds out. But this is your first official DISH Boost mobile phone, the Solero 5G, and it's priced very attractively with free uh, free service to go with it. What say you? Let me know what you think of this development. Let me know what you think of Boost Mobile's deal, the promotion. You like it. You don't like it. Impressed by the promotion. You're going to give it a shot. Sound off in the comment section below. You all are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and share it to your socials. That helps the channel out in a big way. Thank you in advance. And I'm looking forward to your comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.